All right, guys, let's take a look at the NBA picks and props for Sunday, April 14th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How do you start us off? Yeah, this is actually from Friday night. There was no games on Saturday. So uh, I gave out these Suns minus five and a half against the Kings. The Suns, they only won that game by one point with a ferocious fourth quarter comeback. Uh, it was awesome to watch, but uh, they did not cover. Yeah, I went 0-1. Uh, Warriors, they stuck it up against the Pelicans. They lost the game outright. They needed the win. Uh, Pelicans got the win, though. They locked themselves in the seat that they got. So I, I like the Pelicans. I'm glad they won as well. But it sucked that I lost some money on the Warriors there. Trey, let's go to the player props. Have you start us off? And this is where I did get a win on the board. I gave out Donovan Mitchell over 25 and a half points versus the Pacers. Mitchell, he scored 33 points in this game, and he's looking like he's primed and ready for the playoffs. Yeah, and I had an 0 one day. Nikola Jokic to go over his total points. He shot the ball 13 times. That's it. He scored 22 points in the game. Not entirely sure why he only had 13 looks. Uh, the story of the game was Victor Wimanyama in the Spurs. A 23-point comeback. Victor scored 17 points in a three-minute span. He couldn't miss. He was pulling up from 28 feet. He was making alley-oop layups. He, he was making everybody look foolish out there. So Victor had a great game. The Spurs made a great comeback. And the Nuggets might have screwed themselves in the Western Conference there. Trey, let's take a look at the plays, though, for tomorrow. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be breaking down this Detroit Pistons going up against San Antonio Spurs game. And this is going to be a very entertaining game to watch. I believe that both teams definitely just want to put this season behind them, though, and are ready for the NBA draft. And both teams, they are coming in this game off a big win. The Pistons, they beat the Mavericks in their last game by 18 points. And the Spurs, Bear just touched on it, beat the Nuggets in their last game by one point. So both teams, they're coming in this one off upset wins. And I believe that the Pistons can keep this game competitive. And I also just have zero confidence that the Spurs can beat anybody by double digits. So give me the Pistons. I'm going to buy a half point, take them at plus nine and a half in this game. Both teams, they simply just have a laundry list of injuries already rolled out for the Pistons are Cade Cunningham, Jalen Duran, Asura Thompson, Isaiah Stewart, Quentin Grimes, and Bears' favorite player, Simone Fontacecchio. And uh, for the Spurs, already ruled out is Keldon Johnson, Devin Vassell, Jeremy Sohan, and Malachi Branham. So this is going to be a game of Jaden Ivey and a ragtag crew against Victor Wimbanyama in a ragtag crew. And I just believe that this game is going to be a pretty competitive one. Neither team is going to be able to really pull away. Uh, and uh, that's going to allow the P uh, Pistons to be able to keep Wimby off the glass because the Pistons, they actually rank top five in the NBA in defensive rebounding. And that's going to be able to limit Wimby's second chance opportunities, hopefully. And uh, that's going to allow the Pistons to remain in this game as well and play the type of offense they'd like to which is a slow you down, punch you in the mouth type of offense. So giving the Pistons here, plus nine and a half versus the Spurs. Yeah, Trey, i like to play there for you. Uh, for my play today, we're going to be looking at the Dallas Mavericks going up against the Thunder. The Mavericks missed a massive opportunity in their last game going up against the Pistons, losing outright, not starting any of their starting players. Kyrie Irving was out with a hamstring injury. Luka was out with what they called an ankle injury. And this is a team only one game away or out from that fourth seed in the Western Conference from the Clippers as they could they could have got home court advantage in the first playoff series. They decided that it was more important to be healthy going into the playoffs, and the Clippers lost outright to the Jazz after the starters played for a quarter. Then they realized they didn't have to play because they owned the tiebreaker. They didn't have to worry about anything, and they lost that game outright. Uh, sucks for the Mavericks. I'm never going to understand why the Mavericks decided to do what they did because I don't think either Kyrie Irving or Luka was actually hurt. I think they just wanted to get some rest in. Now they definitely will not have home court advantage, and they're going up against the Thunder in this game on the road who are the one seed right now in the Western Conference, tied with the Nuggets and the Timberwolves. The Thunder should win this game by 20-plus points because not only are they fighting for that one seed and they have a very good chance to get it right now, they're also going to be playing the Mavericks without Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. I don't think we're going to see the Thunder mess around in this game. They have no room for, no room for error in this one. They should cover the spread very easily. I'm going to take the Thunder here against the spread as the play. Minus 18. Is that a typo? No, but it's minus 18. <laughs> minus 18. 18 for the Thunder against the Mavericks. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be talking about Rudy Gobert here, and I'm going to take him to go under 13 and a half points versus the Suns. I love this under for Gobert in this game, and you guys all know I'm a huge Rudy Gobert fan, but I just believe he's going to focus on the defense here and not score very many points. And I just believe that for a few reasons. The first one is his matchup here versus the Suns. Historically, Gobert has really not scored very many points in this matchup. In fact, over his last four games versus the Sun, Gobert, he's still averaging 31 minutes per game, but it's only averaged 4.8 points per game, which is way under this number. And the fact that the T-Wolves just got Cat back, I believe that they're going to kind of play through him, kind of get that uh, rust knocked off before the NBA playoffs start. 
And that's going to continue to take away shots away from Rudy Gobert. So look for Gobert to just focus on defense here and to struggle offensively like usual against the Suns. So give me Rudy Gobert to go under 13 and a half points versus the Suns. For my player prop today, it's going to be LeBron James to go over his total points going up against the Pelicans. The Lakers need to win this game to stay at the eight seed in the Western Conference. The Kings, they continue to slip now three and seven in the last 10 games, and that's allowed the Lakers to go on a little bit of a run and get better positioning going into the play-in tournament. That positioning is massive in the play-in tournament. They're going to have home court advantage for their first game, and the Lakers need all the help they can get because, I'm sorry, Trey, I don't think they're that good of a team. I do think we're going to see LeBron James have another great performance like he's had in the last two games because it's a game that matters. And if they don't win this game, they're going to lose that home court advantage. There is no better player. Here, get, get ready, Trey. Clip it. There's no better player in the NBA whenever something matters than LeBron James. I'm going to stick by that. I think he's a great player. I think he just cries a little bit. But all the superstars now, they cry a little bit. They, they complain all the time. They don't play a ton of regular season games. But I understand that's not how it works anymore. I'm going to take LeBron James here because I do think he's going to try hard in this game, dropping 30-plus points in back-to-back -back games against the Warriors and the Grizzlies. He has shot 20-plus times as well in back-to-back -back games, and that's what he does whenever games matter. He just plays better, and he plays harder. He's going to have another great performance in this one going up against the Pelicans, who are locked in at the sixth spot. Give me King James. Give me Goat James. Give me James James to go over his total points, as Trey would say, as the play. Trey, let's go to the uh, graphic. Have you start us off? I'm proud of you. I'm proud Thank of you. you. Give me uh, the Pistons here. Plus nine and a half versus Spurs. I expect this game to be competitive. Um, it did come out opened at plus 11 for the Spurs. So it's already going back the other way. So I love this play for the Pistons. Also going with Rudy Gobert. Under 13 half points versus Suns. I love Gobert. He's going to grab a bunch of rebounds and get some blocks in this game. But just not going to put the ball in the bucket very much. Yeah, I'm going to take the Thunder. Minus 18 against the Mavericks, who are not going to have any of their starters on the floor. Thunder, they need to win the game to have the one seed in the West. They're going to come out. They're going to dominate. Then give me LeBron James. Over his total points, probably going to come out at 24 half, maybe 25 and a half. He's been playing some really good basketball. He's going to score a bunch of points on the Pelicans. Make sure that the Lakers stay with some home court advantage in the play-in tournament. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Sunday, April 14th, Slated Games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube, and it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month, a little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 